You have arrived at the coins alert. When we discuss crypto, we make sure to keep our discussions brief and to the point. You are aware that there is still a possibility, albeit a small probability, that the SEC would appeal the Ripple case. However, if they do so, this would be interpreted as an assault on the entire cryptocurrency industry. This is because there are numerous litigation involving cryptocurrencies, all of which focus on Ripple's case and XRP's status as a non-security. The Securities and Exchange Commission CC is controlled by Democrats, and the Democrats do not. Want to lose votes for the future elections in 2024, so it is quite doubtful that the SEC will resort to appealing the decision. Ripple is expected to pay the whole $125 million fine in 23 days, as stated in the previous sentence. The company Ripple has stated that it will pay this fee. Because of this, if the SEC does not file an appeal within the next 23 days, it indicates that the issue has been officially resolved and there is no longer any need for concern regarding the SEC. Officially, XRP is not a security in any way, shape, or form, and the very first public hearing on cryptocurrency was held in. The Senate in the year 2013. Since a very long time ago, discussions on rules have been taking place. In addition, as we mentioned earlier, major events such as this are planned out decades in advance. Therefore, the outcome of the litigation between Ripple and Ripple was already predetermined. Ripple has emerged victorious in the dispute where XRP was determined to be a non-security. Hearings on cryptocurrencies were only held during the time that Bitcoin and Ripple were in existence. Thus, in the year 2013, there are not a great deal of cryptocurrency ventures. Obviously, there are a great number of them, but they are not quite as many as we had in the year 2020 or even 2024. In light of this, it is highly probable that the government is discussing cryptocurrencies such as XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so on. As was said earlier, the regulation has been in the works for many years. And when the 1% are ready, when the system is ready, this is when they will proceed with the implementation of the regulation. This is the time when they will implement legislation, stablecoin notes, illustrations of cryptocurrencies, and other related things. The information that we have comes from David Schwartz, who stated on August 14th, 2024, that the likelihood of the Democrats making any big steps in crypto policy prior to the elections is quite low. Therefore, once we see the elections being finished and over with, and we expect that Trump will win and that he will return to office, that is when we will see complete crypto regulations being implemented for cryptocurrencies. In conclusion, the establishment of an appropriate regulatory framework for digital assets like XRP, as well as the official authorization of banks and other financial institutions to make use of XRP and ISO tokens, which would result in a high price point for XRP itself. Furthermore, Ripple's strategy made it impossible for the company to lose the case against the SEC. There was no way that Ripple could lose. We have Ripple employing Andrew Cerny, who is a former enforcement director for the Securities and Exchange Commission, as well as Mary Jo White, who is a former chair of the SEC. Mary Jo White is defending Ripple in a dispute involving crucial cryptocurrency, arguing that the Securities and Exchange Commission C made a mistake. According to the former chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC is in. The wrong about XRP. Regarding XRP, Gary Gensler is in the wrong. Gary Gensler's strategies of assaulting cryptocurrency startups are also contributing to the fact that things are not looking very good for Gary Gensler and it is expected that any potential replacement for Gigi will be seen. According to Coindesk, Gary Gensler, the head of the Securities and Exchange Commission, passed up an opportunity to steer and encourage the growth of cryptocurrency in the United States. Trump has stated that he will replace Gensler, the Securities and Exchange Commission SECR, demonstrating their true colors and how corrupt they are as an agency by turning to regulation by enforcement. As we have stated previously, the Securities and Exchange Commission CC needs to undergo a reformation. As a result of the SEC's action, it is quite probable that we will now arrive at a solution that makes the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC the major regulator rather than the SEC. And this is exactly what we require, as the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC is extremely optimistic on cryptocurrencies, referring to Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP as commodities and XRP as a non-security. There was also a meeting between Carolina Femme and Brad Garlinghouse. There are a great deal of ties between Ripple and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, and once more, all of this is very significant. And now, as a result of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC involvement in the cryptocurrency industry, we have been nominal, regulated since 2012, the release of an XRP USD futures. And the next significant step is this one. The next significant step that is required for an XRP exchange traded fund is this, which once again is bullish for the price of XRB. 
a new all-time high is about to be reached. As well as that, the CFTC has given its blessing to this listing. Again, gentlemen, the CFTC is in favor of Ripple. According to JP Morgan, which we have obtained from Coindesk, stablecoin restrictions provide a big challenge to Tether, which is the issuer of USDT. There is a stablecoin called Tether. According to the CEO, Micah poses a significant threat to the system as a whole. The answer is obviously two. Tether, given that Tether does not have a one-to-one -one backing. In addition, your stablecoin needs to be backed one-to-one -one in order to comply with micro regulations. According to the G20, the value of a tether is just 73 cents to a dollar, which is not a very advantageous value. In addition, the G20 has stated once more that a crisis will result in the demise of tether and a significant decline in the value of Bitcoin. When we finally witness the collapse of tether, it will bring about a crash in the whole cryptocurrency market, including Bitcoin, because the market is supported on fictitious liquidity. This concludes the video for now. It is my hope that you all had a good time, and I will see you all at the next one.